The UK government's coronavirus job retention scheme is impacting thousands of workers across the UK who have been furloughed. We look at what that means, answer the most common questions and show you where to find more information and help. Furlough is the government's scheme to support companies in the UK that are being hit hardest by the coronavirus. The main idea is that the government will give money to firms towards wages to keep you employed so that they don't need to make you redundant. You can be kept on the payroll even though you aren't doing any work. Your employer is less likely to go out of business or need to reduce headcount during this crisis. Your company must write to inform you formally. You don't have to consent to be furloughed, but you should take professional advice on any alternatives, such as redundancy, which may be less attractive. How much you will get while furloughed depends on some different calculations. Your firm still pay you, then can claim up to 80% of that back, up to £2,500 for each person per month. For some people, that means they will get 80% of their normal take-home pay. Other companies may choose to pay more. If your pay is variable due to flexible working or a zero-hours contract, your employer must base your furlough pay either on your average monthly earnings for the 1920 tax year or what you earned in this month last year, whichever is higher. The short answer is we just don't know how long this might last. The government has extended our lockdown period the scheme is designed to lift whenever people are able to get back to work and we start economic recovery. Ideally, that timetable will be led by medical and scientific advice on when we have flattened the curve and have passed the peak of this pandemic. Keeping as many people as possible employed is the hope and the focus, hence the official name of Job Retention Scheme, but there is no guarantee. It's important to know you still have the exact same statutory employment rights as you did before you were furloughed. If you are unwell, you are eligible for statutory sick pay and can go on furlough when you recover. If you have caring responsibilities or are shielding or isolating because of health concerns, you are still eligible to be furloughed. If you are on shared parental or maternity, paternity or adoption leave, you will continue to get your statutory pay for the government. Companies that offer enhanced parental leave can furlough employees to receive support with the cost of the additional payments. As to bonuses and commission, the scheme is limited. Broadly, the government will cover up to 80% of your basic salary, up to £2,500 per person per month. Recently updated guidance now says that companies can include commission payments if they are regular compulsory commission payments that the company is obliged to pay but not discretionary commission such as a bonus, which is still excluded. This could especially have an impact on workers with a smaller basic salary where commission makes up a large part of their take-home pay. We are still waiting on the latest government guidance on how exactly these terms are defined, and interpretation may also depend on individual contracts and agreements. We know the scheme does cover the minimum automatic enrolment pension contributions and the national insurance payments that your employer makes. Can you still work? Broadly speaking, no. Companies that claim for your wages and still ask you to do work could be audited and in severe trouble. This scheme is designed to soften the economic impact of a lack of demand. If there is still profitable work for you to do, then you should not be furloughed. You can still volunteer for your company as long as you aren't creating revenue for them or providing a service. You can also still complete training for your employer but if you spend any time in training, your employer needs to ensure you are getting at least minimum wage for the hours spent. If you have more than one employer, you can be furloughed by more than one. You can also be furloughed by one employer and continue to work for others. You can also work for a new employer, as long as you're not breaching any existing contracts. If you do find yourself on a reduced income, there are some steps you can take. Analyse your monthly payments and see if any regular payments such as uh, debt payments, mortgages or council taxes are currently offering breaks and relief. Many are. Check that you are getting any benefits, help and credits that you're due. For many workers, not having commute and associated costs will make a big difference in reduced outgoings. This has been a brief overview of the most common questions, but new information is regularly becoming available as the scheme is rolled out, taken up and developed. If you would like more information, as a first step, reach out to your manager or to your employer's HR department. Information is available online from the government's gov.uk website. If you have concerns, for example, if you've been furloughed by an employer and they're then asked to work cash in hand, 
you can reach out to the Advisory Conciliation and Arbitration Service on acas.org.uk. Other services, such as Citizens Advice, are also sharing information. And remember, these are extraordinary times. You're not alone. There are literally thousands of workers in the same or similar positions in the UK, from industries like hospitality, travel, recruitment, fashion, manufacturing and more. Ultimately, furlough is an extreme measure, but it's been taken in the short term to protect jobs and the economy in the longer term. So try and see it in a positive light. It's perfectly normal and rational to feel additional stress during extraordinary events such as a global pandemic. If you feel like you're struggling with your mental health during lockdown, isolation, quarantine or furlough, support and advice is available from leagues and other organisations. And Monster will continue to offer advice and information on our Corona Career Advice page here.